Hey everyone, I'm Ian here with AI Plays. Today we're covering lens shade and correction. Let's get started. To recap, so far we've covered how a camera converts light into a Bayer domain image, how to correct dead pixels, and how to compensate for black levels. The issue we are addressing today is called lens shading. As we know, when light enters the camera, it gets focused by various lenses to hit the entire CMOS sensor. However, despite hitting the entire sensor, a greater majority of the light still ends up being concentrated at the center, while the edges of the image do still get a minority of the light. This is an example of taking a photograph of a blank grey screen. We are expecting a smooth grey image. However, without lens shading correction, you get something closer to this. The center has a high level of light and appears white, while the edges have lower levels of light and appear black. What we want is an image like this one. It's mostly uniform across in terms of brightness intensities. To do this, we need a method to apply a correction factor based on radial distance from the center of the image. This is the formula we'll use for lens shading correction. The corrected pixel value is equal to the original pixel value times 1 plus k times r, where the corrected pixel value is the result, original pixel value is the input pixel value, k is a correction factor, and r is the radial distance from the center of the image. In using r, the further away a pixel is from the center, the brighter lens shading correction will make it. k is a correction factor meant to control the strength of the correction. Generally, the value of k is very small, like 0.0005 small, since r can get very big in most images. Finally, the 1 plus is there to ensure that at the very center of the image when r is 0, your corrected pixel value is not just 0, but rather stays at the original pixel value. One more thing to note is that the image I showed as an example is a rather extreme case. Normally, cameras don't have such a heavy need for lens shading correction, where the center is all white and the outsides are all black. But if that is the case where the entire image's brightness intensities are just too high, you can just subtract an offset from all of the pixels in the image and clip it to zero again, just like we did in video 3, black level compensation. Both k and the optional offset are fixed values calculated based on the construction of the lens array and CMOS sensor in a given camera. Since they're constant values throughout, the camera can calculate them with an automated test picture during processing and store the values in its own internal memory. Now let's move on to the code. The inputs are the BLC image from black level compensation, which is still in the bare domain at 16 bits, the correction factor k, and the optional offset. The output is the image with lens shading correction applied. As usual, we start off by creating a copy of the BLC image in which we can apply lens shading correction. Then we use the dot shape command to find the dimensions of the image. Next we compute the indices of the center row and center column by using integer division by 2, then adding 1. We used integer division since we need an integer value to use for indexing, and we add 1 since integer division rounds down. Next up, we start on the loop. At each point, we use the distance formula to calculate the radial distance from the center of the image. Our current coordinates are i, j, and we want to find the distance from here to the center of the image with coordinates center row, center call. Then, we can update the LSC image at this point. That is the current pixel times the correction factor k times the radial distance plus 1, the whole thing minus the optional offset. Finally, we set this point to be an integer, since we want to keep the image's d-type to uint16. The maximum possible value in uint16 is 65,635, so we clip the image to be in the range of 0 to 65,535, and return the image. Now, when I run the function, you can see that it takes about a minute and a half. Just to demonstrate the effects of this module, I'll set k to 0 0.005. Doing this means values that are too close to the edges will go over 65,000 and return overflow errors. But the resulting image lets us know that this module is working wonderfully. You can see that the very center has turned quite black, while the outer areas are very bright now and look pretty good. You can also clearly make out shadows in certain details now. Setting k back to 0 0.0005, you can see that there is no more overflow error, and lens shading correction works a bit more like what we were expecting. Since our base image didn't need much lens shading correction to begin with though, the center does suddenly look a little bit darker now. Now there's obviously faster and better methods to complete lens shading correction, 
And if there's interest, I can post a video about it as well. For example, if you want to make it faster, one method you could use is to create a matrix of the same size as the original image, but each value of the matrix is the radial distance from the center. Effectively, this would create a matrix of R values. Then you could just multiply all of the values by some correction factor k and add 1. Since all of these are performing the same operation on the entire matrix, you can vectorize them to make them very fast. Finally, you could multiply the image and the matrix together, which would again be vectorized. This would take the processing time down to no more than one second. If you want to make the correction better, you don't have to strictly use k times r for linear correction. You could take r squared for more intense correction, or r to the power 1 half for a weaker correction. You also don't have to stick to one method of correction for the entire image. For example, use r times k plus 1 for wherever r is greater than 1200. But if r is less than or equal to 1200, set r equal to 1. That last one would actually be incredibly easy to implement, and it would also solve that issue of the dark circle in the center. All you'd have to do is replace r in our function with max, parentheses, r1200. This is the result of using this new version with k equals 0 0.0005. And you can see that that dark circle goes away a fair bit. That's it for today. Next time, we'll cover the anti-aliasing noise filter. Have a good day, everyone.